welcome to Currumbin Valley and Happy New Year to everyone. I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I got to post anything. Christmas was incredibly hectic. I basically didn't have any time off and uh, now this just had some time this last week but uh, I just needed to a bit of R&R. &R. So I did come down to here uh, two days ago but I was a little bit later and I wasn't doing any vlogging at the time and there ended up being way too many people so I'm back here now uh, it's about quarter past seven in the morning uh, there's only two cars in the car park so fingers crossed I can actually manage to get some photos of the waterfalls without people in them which would be nice it's really um, a beautiful spot here in the rainforest with this creek running through it but it does get very busy during the summer with people swimming in the rock pools. quite a few photos in the stream here uh, looking up in this direction at the waterfall um, the problem I'm having now is the sun's coming down and as you can see there's a really big difference in contrast between the foreground here and the background where the light comes in now when I first got here uh, that wasn't there but by the time I kind of managed to get set up and everything it started coming down now every now and then the sun's gone behind the cloud but I think all the clouds are gone now so um, yeah I get the feeling this probably is gonna be a spot for a cloudy day which it was more the other day which is why I didn't think there'd be so many people swimming here because it was a bit rainy uh, other otherwise maybe in the afternoon it might be better I'd have to have a look at a map and just see uh, I think yeah I, mean, I think this kind of face is south so I have a feeling we might still end up with light on the other side of the gorge but um, anyway when I uh, finish faffing around here I'll uh, put my images up so you can see what I've got 
So I just thought something I might mention is in situations like this where um, shutter speed is important. Like normally in, in landscape photography, um, the aperture is kind of the thing you think about the most uh, because you want to think about your depth of field and, and what you want in focus and what you don't. But in situations like this where the shutter speed is important too, what I tend to do is put it in manual and then use the ISO to adjust my exposure. Um, now, I want to try and get my ISO as low as possible, but once I've kind of, I've also got a neutral density filter on the front. I'm actually not using that any more than just the polarizing filter at the moment. But yeah, the variable ND between that, if it got brighter, and then the ISO if it gets darker is what I use for adjusting the exposure so I don't mess around too much with my shutter speed or my aperture, which I want to keep at their settings to get the look I'm after. Absolutely destroyed by mosquitoes this morning. Uh, I put some repellent on my arms, which is a natural one made from uh, I think it's lemon eucalyptus because I don't want it to be any harmful for the water. Although I've only put it on my arms and not my legs, but they are destroying me. Now, I haven't mentioned yet, but I have been shooting today with my new camera which is this uh, bad boy here so it's the Panasonic S5 and I got this because I wanted something to be able to take b-roll for my vlogs with that would be good for that but still going to be really good for doing my still photos so this is a full frame DSLR it's got 4K video up to 60 frames per second and um, it's a 24 megapixel sensor I think it is which my, my 6D Mark II is 26 so that's neither here nor there. It does have a high resolution mode so where it takes multiple shots and, and puts them together to I think it's about a 98 megapixel photo but it's not going to work in here where there's things moving. But um, yeah these the first Today and, and two days ago are the first time I've actually been using it and uh, it's a really nice camera. There's, I'm one of those people I really like to know the ins and outs of how everything works and feel comfortable with it. I hate having to faff around and try and work out how things do um, work. So I uh, spent an entire day sitting down with the user manual going through and getting it all set up, you know, pretty much how I want and um, yeah it's pretty it's pretty awesome there's some things it does that I like better than my Canon there's one or two little quirks that I think I'm just gonna have to get my head around how it operates different but I I think on the whole this is gonna be pretty awesome so um, at the moment I've been just using the 20 to 60 kit lens that comes with the camera I have however bought a Sigma adapter so I can use my old Canon lenses on it too.
watching I do appreciate all your support now I think next time I might go into a little bit more about why I got myself a new camera alrighty I'll uh, catch you all next time oh <laughs> I'm not very good at remembering this if uh, you did get this far and you enjoy the video giving it a, a thumbs up really helps and uh, as always if you if you like the content then subscribe on youtube so you don't miss any okay catch you later